how to enable or disable Bluetooth HCI Snoop Lock on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. First, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. And from the home screen, swipe down at the top. Then tap on the settings icon. In settings, scroll down and then tap on developer options. Next, tap on enable Bluetooth HCI Snoop Lock. In here, you can choose disable or you can choose enable filtered or you can simply choose enable. So select one of the options. When you select enable filter, this options also becomes active. Now, once it is turned on, so here I will switch it on. You can see the file can be accessed from my files. So if I go into my files and I go back to my home page, tap on internal storage and then we go down, tap on log and in here it has all the logs and I go into Bluetooth. You should be able to view your log in here. Now, if you find that in your log, it does not show anything uh, because Bluetooth uh, Snoop Lock files uh, is a special file. So while it is um, available for you to switch it on in developer options, uh, the, the log files themselves are not directly accessible to user through the file manager. Uh, this is because they are stored in a system protected directory for security and privacy reasons. So you can either use Android ADB, Android Debug Bridge to access the file, or we can use this uh, method. So I'll open up the font application and I'll dial in this special code 9900 uh, hash key. In here, you can run a dump state or log cat uh, command. So tap on that and run it. Now this will uh, take some time. So just wait for that to finish. And here on my computer via um, ADB2, I can view the dump file as well. So I can access the dump file from here uh, from my SD card folder. Okay, once it has finished, you go down and then you choose copy to SD card and wait for that to finish. And here it says copy success. So if we go back to my files, and then if you go into your directory, internal storage, and then make sure you choose all. So from the drop down, select all, and then go down, tap on log. And in here, you should be able to find all your data in here, in the Bluetooth folder, as well as your system dump file. So if you scroll down, all your dump file should have all the information in there. So here, if I open up this app to view my log file. i just close that. So here we go down, tap on log. And in here, you can view the log file. So one example, the dump log file. I'm just looking for a particular log file, this one right here. And here you can go down and view your log files. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.